I'm Matt. I'm Carrie. We are the Stagmer Brothers of Baltimore Knife and Sword. We're going to be building some of your favorite weapons, and some weapons that you've never seen before. This is Man at Arms, Reforged. Sometimes when we're reading through the comment sections, it feels like you guys are trolling us. In this case, we're going to take your request to heart. We're going to be making the weapon from Shovel Knight. It's an old school style side scroller, but it's definitely a lot of fun. We'll be using the plasma, heat treating, trying to make all the cartoon look of this entire piece fit an actual physical object. It's actually something that Matt's been interested in building the entire time we've been doing this series. Matt has always loved the sound of a shovel striking somebody in the back. So we're all gonna be watching out as we go through this build. The first step we're gonna do on Shovel Knight's awesome shovel sword is to basically just draw a spade in CAD, get it cut out on the plasma cutter, and then start all the complex forging that has to go from there. We decided it's gonna be about 15 inches tall. I have to draw it a little wider than it's gonna be in actuality because it gets some form. 7.5, move this out, out here. See what that looks like mirrored over. Now we gotta add a little bit of an arc at the bottom. Use the three point arc tool, so I'll click. Remove the center line. There it is. I mean, this is a pretty basic form, really simple to draw, but it's gonna give us a big advantage starting with a nice symmetrical piece. So now, let's take it to the plasma cutter and get it cut. So for our shovel head, we're gonna be cutting it in mild steel initially, and then afterwards we'll go out to the forge. Ilya's gonna forge a high carbon wrap that's gonna go around the outside. That's what's gonna get hardened. That's what's gonna be able to hit and smash things. This is what's gonna to attach to the pole and give us the big form that we need. We're gonna make it in two pieces. It'll be plasma cut. I'm gonna go ahead and cut those pieces now so we can get them formed, and then we'll be able to shape it and get that outside made. And you just use the mirror tool, select the center, we got our lead in, lead out for the plasma, so the plasma cutter starts here, goes all the way around, comes back, and ends there. This portion will be attached to the actual shovel head, we'll weld along the perimeter. This portion will get rounded around, creating a socket in which the wood handle can slide up into. The next step for this build is to form the socket. Carrie already cut out the template, now Ilya's gonna move to the forge and start creating the shape. First, he uses the anvil and a hand hammer to initialize the bend. He then uses a mandrel to finalize the shape. Now this step takes about four or five heats. Ilya's done this process many times for the shop on a daily basis making spear sockets. So he makes it look easy. Trust me, it's not. We're getting ready to plasma cut the guard for our shovel knight sword out of this piece of half inch plate. After it's cut, we'll clean it up, dish it, and install it. Now that he's deferred this guard, John's gonna go ahead and use the fly press, which has a lot of pressure to bend this large piece of steel. We'll be able to create the entire form and then we'll go and brass it. It's now time to form the cutting edge for our Shovel Knight sword. Now we could just use the plasma and cut out a blank for it, grind it and be done. But Ilya, he decided to take a tougher route He's gonna forge it to shape. He's gonna start from a two inch wide strip and just beat it around until the curve matches the initial cutout.
Originally, this was supposed to be an American job. However, since you guys like watching Slavic labor, I do it Slavic style. What I had to do for the edge is take a 2 inch strip and bend it. Then we take American parts, attach them. But that's not all. You need to attach the shovel for the night to hit people. Then, premium Slavic job. Clean up the parts, weld them on, rivet them on, and heat treat. You see smashed fruit and come back in a couple weeks for more Slavic labor. All right, Elliot just got done fitting this to the shovel. I'm gonna go through now, clean up the perimeter and all the edges here, inside, outside, and also do the flat so I can hand it back to him so he can actually attach it to the shovel itself. After looking at a bunch of cover art and some fan art, we noticed that sometimes the shovel appears to be flat and other times it has a lot of shape. Billy decided that he wanted to give it some form and add a nice central crease. So he's going to start on the anvil using a raising hammer to initialize that crease, then move to the power hammer to crisp everything up and flatten it back out in certain areas. Now that he has his curve and dish formed into this guard, John's going to go back to the sanders and smooth and polish the entire surface. With our guard now formed to shape, completely blended out on the sanders. The next step is to turn on that classic brass color. John's gonna use a torch to heat up the steel parts. Once they're up to temperature, he's gonna use a brass wire wheel to just deposit the brass on the surface of the steel. Now time to start on the handle portion of our sword build. The handle is going to be made up of a series of different sized pipes, one inside the other. We're going to do a little forging to create some shape and some welding and some blending. First thing I'm going to do is work on that traditional shovel handle, then we'll move on to doing the sword handle later. So my first step is to use a whizzer, cut a straight line up on either side, and then we're going to forge that out and around to make that shape, and then another piece of pipe to make the cross handle. Much like you'd see on a regular shovel at the hardware store, he's going to be taking a piece of pipe, splitting it, bending it open, and then creating the handle. In this case, it's just a much thicker piece of steel, so he has to do it hot. Okay, Ily, appreciate the shovel body. Now I have the edge that I need to weld on. We've got it clamped in place. I'm gonna put some tack welds on before I fully weld it on and finish pulling the edge in to finish her off. Okay, I've now tack welded my two pieces together and you'll watch me as I move from side to side, kind of alternating so I don't put too much heat in any one area to cause severe warpage.
Okay, now we have it fully welded. We have minimal warpage from the heat. Uh, Ilya should be able to straighten that out and we'll be ready for grinding and heat treating. All right, John's done a great job joining our high carbon edge to the body of the shovel. You can see he MIG welded the entire perimeter on the back side, left the front side plain just like it should look. My next job is to go ahead and blend that weld out. And then I'm gonna move on to grinding a striking edge all along the outside. Now that I've finished rough blending my welds on the handle portion, we've got a couple of more grits to go to polish it out, smooth it over. Then we'll be ready for the heat brassing. Since this shovel head is so large, we can't just heat treat it on a normal forge. We're gonna be using the kiln, which Ilya uses to heat treat armor on a regular basis. Once the shovel is completely up to heat, I open the kiln, Ilya pulls it out and quenches it in water. Nothing warped, nothing cracked. This is a successful heat treat. Aha! Our shovel and socket has now been welded together. John did a great job. He ran some MIG weld all along the perimeter here. My job is just to blend that weld, brighten up the edge, sharpen it, and we're ready to hit somebody. To get that in-game feel of this weapon, we have to make sure the handle of the shovel and the handle of the sword portion are blue. So John's going to use some leather that he's dyed to the right color and just wrap those portions. though it took a little while and we made some changes as we went through this build, I'm really happy with the finished product. I feel like we've really captured the cartoon look of this piece. We also have all been able to stay safe from Matt wandering around the shop with a shovel in his hand.
click here to subscribe or click here to watch more episodes. Thanks for watching Man at Arms Reforged. We need to know what you want the guys to build, so tell us in the comments below what weapons you want to see next.